What's up everyone, this is Jack Spud from Windows Phone Hacker and I'm just going to give you a look at the latest version of the uh, themes for Windows Phone application. Uh, so this version 2.0 that I showed a little bit earlier, uh, of course, as I mentioned, all the everything is done on device now, which is a huge time saver. And um, you have a little gallery of different themes that people can submit and uh, you tap on the theme that you want to install. And you download it and it says it's installed, you head over to themes and you have all the themes that you have installed. And then you can pin individual tiles and mix and match or whatever. Um, so for example, if I want to pin uh, some of these cool looking uh, red tiles onto my start screen, I can just do that. And etc. so forth. So you can, you know, you get the idea. You can pin them onto your screen and uh, they'll be there. And of course, if you tap on a tile, then it loads up the corresponding application. So it's really a much better experience on the end user just because they can be able to, first off, use uh, different themes easily and just sort of pick what tiles they need. And second off, you know, you just have everything that you, you know, all the themes that you can install right here on your device uh, without having to dive into the themes creator program and deploy them manually, which was really just quite a pain. Um, so hopefully that'll make the application a lot more usable for people. Now, one of the biggest complaints that I got about the original themes application that uh, really I think is part of, pretty much the main reason why people sort of shied away from using it uh, is because basically when you're using theme tiles, they're static, you know, they're just little picture tiles, so that basically it disables any live tile functionality that you used to have. And I've begun to try to mitigate this on rooted devices by adding this little option in about. Uh, where you can enable, enable live messaging tiles. If I tap on that, I should be able to head over to the start screen. And as you can see, I have a new message there. And if I wait a little bit for it to sync up, then you can see the little uh, icon over here that says that I have one unread message uh, in there, in the messaging hub. Um, and so this will happen to any message icon from any theme. You can even have multiple ones, it doesn't matter. Um, and hopefully I'm, I'm planning to get this over for uh, for phone and other things that require live tiles as well. Uh, so hopefully hopefully this will work out um, and make the application a lot more usable to people who want themes but also want their live tiles working. Um, so that's the that's the big change uh, since the previous, uh, previous video I released. I just thought I'd show you guys that and hopefully I'll be getting this application out this week. It's pretty much finished, just needs some, uh, some testing and some, some ironing and stuff. But um, um, if you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to let me know, and uh, hopefully you guys will really like this. All right, have a good day.